In this video, we're going to go over some examples for rationalizing a two-term radical. So the first one, we have to rationalize the denominator of root 18 plus root 12 over root 12 minus root 8. Now, just by looking at this initially, you would think that you'd multiply it by the conjugate of the denominator, root 12 plus root 8, and that would be correct. However, my suggestion is, is if you can, always simplify whatever radicals you have into mixed radicals first. It'll make your life easier in the end. So for example, this root 18, we can rewrite as three root two, because root 18, is equal to root 9 times root 2, which would just give us 3 root 2. And then this root 12, similarly, we can split it up into root 4 times root 3, which would just give us 2 root 3. And then all over the root 12, again, we can rewrite that as 2 root 3, minus the square root of 8, we can rewrite as the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, and then the square root of 4 is 2, and then we'd have that root 2. So now this here is the same as this, and we can multiply, because we're rationalizing the denominator, we can multiply this by this conjugate. So it'd be 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2 over 2 root 3 plus 2 root 2. So we took this expression, created an equivalent expression by simplifying the radicals, and then we took this expression and multiplied it by the conjugate in the numerator and the denominator of this here. So it's like we're multiplying it by one. Now when we multiply the numerators, unfortunately, we're gonna have to foil out these two expressions. So three root two times two root three, that would just give us six root six. Three root two times two root two, that would just give us six, and then root two times root two is just two. Two root three times two root three, that would just give us four times three, and then two root three times two root two, that would just give us four root six. And then in the denominator, it'll be a lot easier because we're taking a two term expression and multiplying it by its conjugate. So we just have to really multiply those first terms together and those last terms together. So 2 root 3 times 2 root 3, that would give us 4 times 3. And then negative 2 root 2 times positive 2 root 2, that would just give us negative 4 times 2. And then simplifying everything, notice how this 6 root 6 and this 4 root 6, those are like terms, so we can add the coefficients in front together. So 6 root 6 plus 4 root 6, that gives us 10 root 6, and then 12 plus 12, that gives us 24. Then we got 12 minus 8, and that gives us 4 in the denominator. And we can further simplify this because we can factor out a 2 from the numerator. So we'd have a 2 in front, and here we'd have 5 root 6, plus 12, and this is all over 4, and then notice how 2 goes into 4 twice. So our final answer is 5 root 6 plus 12 all over 2. So this expression here and this original expression here, they're both equal. If you put them both in your calculator, you'll get the same decimal amount. And notice how there's no more radicals left in the denominator because we rationalized it. Now I wanna make a final point before ending off this example. Now from this step here, you could have just multiplied it by the conjugate of the denominator straight away, this root 12 plus root eight. But then what would happen is you would get really ugly numbers in the numerator when you expand it. So root 12 plus root eight times root 18 plus root 12, you would end up with like root 216 plus uh, root 12 times root 12. Well, that just gives us 12, so that's smooth. And then root eight plus root 18, that would give us 144, square root of that is just 12. But then this root eight times this root 12, you would have this root 96. And then you would have to simplify the root 216 and then the root 96, and it would just get ugly. And I feel like it would be a lot more work to get to that final answer. So in the end, you can pick and choose your own battles, but my suggestion is whenever you get a expression that you have to rationalize. First, make sure that all the radicals in the expression are simplified, 
and then multiply by the conjugate and then go ahead and simplify because the simplifying process will be a lot easier than if you have to deal with these big numbers root 216 and then root 96 and then going and simplifying those. So yeah, that's just my suggestion. Any radicals, make sure you simplify them and then take that expression and then rationalize it. Moving on to the second example, we have to rationalize the numerator of root x plus 9 minus 3 all over x. Now notice how this is a two-term radical, but there are two terms under the radical as well. However, same thing would apply. We would just treat that radical as a single term. So since we're rationalizing the numerator, we would multiply by the conjugate, which would be root x plus 9 plus 3. We just change that middle sign to a positive, and that would still be root x plus 9 plus 3. Now notice how the term inside the radical, the x plus 9, that didn't change. We don't change the sign for that. We change the sign that's in the middle of the two terms that we're taking the conjugate of. So as we did when we multiply a uh, two-term expression by its conjugate, we're just taking the first terms, multiplying them together, then taking the last terms, multiplying them together. So root x plus 9 times root x plus 9 is just x plus 9 then minus three times positive three, that just gives us minus nine. And then in the uh, denominator, you'd have the x by itself, and then the root x plus nine plus three by itself as well. Let's not even uh, expand the x inside the bracket because notice what's gonna happen here is the nines will cancel out and then the x's can cancel out. So our final answer would just be one over root x plus nine plus three. And I just wanted to go over this example with this root x plus nine because this is a common rationalization that you're gonna have to do in this course when we get into limits and derivatives. But uh, it's pretty simple. Just don't get confused with this root x plus nine. Just treat that as the square root of something. It's the same thing. The square root of 18, square root of x plus nine, square root of eight. So that's just one term by itself. Follow the same process. And then uh, the nines cancel out. And then the x's cancel out as well. And you're left with one over root x uh, plus nine plus three. So this expression is equal to this expression but notice how there's no more radicals in the numerator because we rationalized it. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.